Hello, and welcome back to Silent Hill. Last episode, we made our way through the aptly titled Nowhere, and found our way into uh, a kid's bedroom, by the look of it. Uh, I'd say the decor needs some work, and it definitely needs a bit of a clean, but uh, it is a child's room nonetheless, and what... Well, this is an odd thing to have in a kid's bedroom, um, but I think it's pointing towards the five random items that we've got stacked in our inventory that we found while traversing the nowhere zone. So uh, we will put on the star of uh, David <laughs> and the crest of Mercury. Up next is the Ankh. Hopefully I've got all of the all of what I need, because I really don't want to have to go back out there and try and find one I'm missing. And Disc of Ouroboros, which will be released into the atmosphere, ensuring complete global saturation. No! No! I don't want to! <laughs> Do what Mommy tells you now. I just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. <laughs> I don't want to do it. It will make everyone happy. And it's for your own good, too. Oh, but Mommy, I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. Oh, yes, I see. Maybe Mommy has been wrong. Mommy! Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the Mother's womb, containing the power to create life. I could have done it all myself. Mommy? Um, well, that was, uh, supposed to be a really tragic scene that, uh, revealed a lot, but unfortunately it had a bit of a problem with some hokey voice acting by the, uh, by the kid there, which, uh, wow, this is a very long staircase. Sort of ruined the scene a bit, you know? Dahlia. Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times, restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. <laughs> Don't you see? She's right there. That's absurd. You are the only one who thinks so. Why? Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse than death. Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. That's what endless means. He has been nurtured by that nightmare. Waiting for the day to be born. That day has finally come. The time is nigh. The time is nay. <laughs> Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning. When all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise. My daughter will be the mother of God. Jesus Christ, she's lost her shit. Now no one can interfere! Cheryl, 
world. If that person no longer exists, this is a god descended among us to reach out and save us. Um, okay. Well, well, as far as, uh, as far as final bosses go, uh, this one doesn't appear to be very scary. Um, a glowing white goddess descended from the, uh, descended from the heavens doesn't really seem like that much of a scary final boss to me, uh, despite the fact she seems to be shooting lightning in my face. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, I don't really have a strategy for this. I would very much enjoy running up to her and hitting her with a hammer, but I don't think that's going to happen, so yeah, you see there's a bit of a force field there, and uh, we're going to use our last damn pull, reload our gun, and keep doing this. Uh, there does seem to be blood coming out of the uh, the god, uh, so um, if it bleeds, we can kill it, so they say. Uh, I'm assuming this means that there is some sort of hit confirmation going on, and I am actually causing damage, how, however small it may be, and however large the uh, damage might be that she's causing to me. And uh, I can only hope that I have uh, enough health items to be able to survive long enough uh, to be able to kill her, because ammo shouldn't be a problem, although uh, six rifle rounds uh, is not very many. But... Uh, as it is, I can just stand here and spam it in her face, and uh, she does not have such luck. I mean, uh, I can spam bullets as fast as I can shoot, but she seems to be on a delay timer with her attacks, so I can cause a lot more damage in a shorter amount of time than she can. Well, that was pretty good. Fuck. And is that it? That was pretty weak. <laughs> wow, I'm sorry for that disappointing final boss. I really am. Daddy. Cheryl. Thank you, Daddy. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Cheryl? Can't be. Can't leave like this. Oh, did I kill it Cheryl? Can't be happening, Cheryl. Cheryl. Oh God! Wow. Um, I guess that was the bad ending. <laughs> uh, okay. Well. Um, what can be said about that? Uh, things seem to be really rushing toward to an end at some point there, didn't it? Uh, things just... Uh, just went a bit nuts, uh, without any warning. Uh, but there you go. That is the end of Silent Hill. That was... Oh, that's a very pleasant song to, uh, hit us with in the credits. Uh, that was a blind run, so... Uh, I probably missed a hell of a lot, because I think that we completed this pretty quickly. Um... 16 episodes, I think this is going to be episode 16. I've actually uh, recorded uh, basically the last two hours in one sitting, so uh, I wasn't actually expecting the game to be this short. Uh, <laughs> what was going on at the end there, I just don't have any idea. But yeah, uh, this is a survival horror game, so I'm assuming I'm going to get some sort of statistics uh, when the credits end, so we'll stick around for that. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That was Silent Hill. Thanks for watching. It was refreshing to play a game that was a bit slow, uh, not slower, but a game that was a bit quicker. To, well, quicker is the opposite to slow. What am I trying to say here? Uh, a game that was shorter. Let's let's uh, go with that. Uh, it was refreshing to play a shorter game, because at the moment, we've got, like, San Andreas and uh, Final Fantasy V, and they're gone forever, and I'm really sorry about that. Uh, we're, we're not blowing through very many games. Uh, voice talents. Yes, Michael G., you were absolutely amazing. Uh, the guy that voiced Harry. 
I actually did. I actually really liked uh, Harry's voice acting a lot of the time. Uh, he gave the impression really well of being just a regular fucking dude uh, caught up in a shitty problem. Uh, he really gave that impression, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, voice actors these days are all your uh, gravel voiced action heroes, and I get really sick of them. Uh, so it was refreshing to play someone who just sounded like a regular dude. And this is definitely the bad ending, isn't it? Harry was dead all along. <laughs> um, now what's this? Some sort of casting call? Whoa, that's a bit uncanny, Valley. I don't like the way she was modelled at all. Alessa, we never saw her though. She's pretty hot for a Burns victim. <laughs> And there it is, there's the stats. Uh, my rank was, whatever that is, uh, 9. Or is it 4 out of 5, what it's saying? I don't even know. But uh, we definitely got the bad ending. Uh, 30 saves. And 4 hours and 45 minutes. Wow, we really destroyed this game pretty quickly. And what? We missed 54 items? Okay, so where were they hiding then? Um, we almost completed a, uh, <laughs> completed a minimalist run. Jesus Christ. And we somehow defeated 82 enemies by fighting. I guess that just means 82 enemies in total. But we'll save here for next fear, that is uh, New Game Plus. So we can load that save at any point if we like, and play the game again with some extra shit. And it also, if I was reading in the stat screen correctly there, it also bumps our difficulty up to hard automatically on next fear mode. So, uh, yup, that's the end of the game. This is the uh, opening cutscene that plays before the menu. I didn't want to show you this until now. Uh, because I didn't want to spoil any of the FMVs. Uh, but there you go, that's the end of the game now. This song that plays over the opening is pretty awesome. So I'll just leave now, and you can listen to this, and uh, have good memories of Silent Hill. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.